Hello, BJD Addicts. Um, Equine Aurora here. I decided to go ahead and do prompt three, which was funny stories. Um, the, I, the only funny stories I have involve these two. I haven't had Mashika long enough to have any funny stories involving her. But Ari and Yuma, I both had over a year, so I have some funny stories related to them. Um, the first one I can think of is I had had Yuma a month and Ari a week. No, not even a week. I had had Ari a day. And uh, my friend, uh, Mofi Vengeance, was with me and we decided to go to the zoo. Um, the, the zoo was fine. There weren't really a whole lot of people there. Nothing much happened actually while we were out looking at the animals. But um, when we were done, we decided to go into the gift shop and um got questions because i had my two and she had geo um the only doll she had at the time she now has two dolls but um and she had geo so of course you know we got some questions about them um the funny story is you know um i was explaining how they're customizable and i went ahead and pulled her wig off and and it freaked the uh <laughs> the um lady who was working there like freaked out and then I had gloves on because it was February and cold and um so I was having a hard time getting her head cap off so I was like well I can't exactly get her head cap off but um um her head cap comes off and I can change her eyes and stuff and this lady was just like flipping out and she was like no it's okay you don't have to take her head, head apart I get it <laughs> and I was just like oh my god we still me and Jennifer still laugh about it today because I also pulled his wig off and it was just... No, actually, no, I didn't pull his wig off. I pulled his wig off later when we came back from the zoo and um, the people at the front desk of my dorm were asking about him. They thought he was cute. They were kind of freaked out by her. I don't know. Yeah. So that was that was just fun right then and there because it was uh, <laughs> freaking people out of the zoo when I take her wig off. Yeah, you know. That happens. Alright, and then um, another funny story I can think of involving these two was um, a little while after the zoo event, um, my roommate moved out on me. And a couple days after my roommate moved out on me, we were having a consolidation meeting. We got to go pick our new roommates. I decided to take these two with me because um, anyone who needs it, who's going to be my roommate needs to know about them and at least accept them. So I was in the, um, I lived on the fourth floor at the time. So I was in the elevator, going down, and the girl who was going to become my roommate starts talking to me, because she, no, no, actually, because she didn't talk to me at that point in time. Sorry, this was like a year ago. So, um, another girl starts talking to me about him, and then I mentioned something about how they sleep under my bed, because at that point in time, they did sleep under my bed. They don't sleep there anymore. I'm in a different room and a different arrangement, but I said something about how they sleep under my bed. And this girl, she was blonde, by the way. I mean, like, I'm not stereotyped about blondes. I'm just saying she was blonde. Um, she was like, oh my gosh, they sleep? Like, freaking out because she thought they were alive. And <laughs> um, the girl who was going to become my roommate was in the elevator with us. Um, and she just starts laughing. And then, uh, we still laugh about this today because she was, like, dead serious. She seriously thought I was... I meant they were alive and that they slept, not just that I do put them to bed at night. You know, a lot of owners do, especially when you only have a few. I mean, as I get more, I'll probably stop. But um, for now, I do still put them to bed at night. Um, they have their own beds and they stay there. So um, that's all I can think of right now. Um, let's see, is there anything else? Um, well, it wasn't funny to me at the time, but um, about a week after I got her, it snowed, um, and I took them outside, and this was before I knew you're supposed to vinegar wash their clothes. So I get her back inside after taking her out to play in the snow, and she is blue from here all the way down to, like, here. And it, like, I, like, freaked out because I had only had her a week. And I didn't know a whole lot about cleaning BGDs and stuff, and I was, like, freaking out. Um, I laugh about it today. Of course, at the time, I didn't think it was very funny. I mean, obviously, I got her clean. As you can see, she is not blue. She is, in fact, 
you know, normal skin pain. <laughs> and so, um, yeah. So, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else off the top of my head involving them. Um, hmm. Um, you know, just the usual people questioning me about them and then freaking out when I do stuff like this. Ooh, look. And, you know, or this. Actually, speaking of that, um, this happened recently. Um, I met up a fellow BGD owner at a little cafe thing near our house. And we were there for a good, like, two hours. And I had these two, and she had her SD. And, um, we got talking about how they're, um about S hooks and stuff, and he actually does not have an S hook in his head, you can see, um, um, Fantasy Doll didn't have S hooks, so you can see he has a bar in his head, um, he actually came without any metal in his head, um, and my friend Pink Poole actually rigged up his, the S hooks in his wrists, wrists, his wrist S hooks. And rigged up the bar system for his head, so he's a little bit easier for me to restrain. But, um, so we were talking about that, and then I mentioned how he didn't have an S-hook in his head, so of course she wanted to see. Huh. And, you know, we were at a public place, and I just pull his wig and head cap off, and, um, these people at the table near us kept giving us these strange looks. Especially, you know, as I, you know, took my boy's head apart. And, um, <laughs> So when they left, I turned to her and I was like, I think I freaked him out because I also pulled her um, head off, head cap off to show her an MSDS hook and she pulled hers off to show me an SDS hook because um, I don't have a whole lot of experiences with SDs. But, um, so that was just, you know, stuff in public places. It happens and we laugh about it later because, you know, it's perfectly normal to us, you know, pull their wig off, pull their head cap off, you know, it happens. So, um, that's all I can think of now. Um, I'm sure other stuff has happened, but you know, over a year of owning BGDs, I'm bound to forget stuff. So, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.